What is DHEA and how can this hormone fight aging and dementia? I'll show you where it comes from, what happens when you don't make enough of it. And at the end of the video, I discuss the potential for helping families with those suffering from Alzheimer's. I thought I'd talk to you about a hormone called DHEA or dehydroepiandrosterone. My endocrinologist friends call it the hormone without a cause because they really can't pronounce it. Actually, because they really don't know what it does. So what's DHEA? DHEA is a hormone that is produced by the adrenal gland and it does lots of things in our body. A stimulus from the pituitary gland causes it to be released into the bloodstream along with the cortisol, the stress hormone. DHEA resembles testosterone in that it is a steroid hormone and in fact, it will increase muscle mass and bone density just like testosterone. And several other studies indicate increased libido in both men and women. DHEA is not only made in the adrenal gland that sits on top of the kidney, but it is also made in the brain. And for that reason, it's called a neurosteroid. Guess what it's made from? Cholesterol, like everything else. So here's what they do. They stimulate a receptor called the Sigma-1 receptor in the brain. This receptor was discovered in the 1990s and was thought to be involved in the brain's response to opiates. When I started looking into the Sigma-1 in the early 2000s, I found some papers that suggested that neurosteroids bind to this brain receptor and fire it up like turning the key on the ignition of a 1969 Boss 429. The result was an activation of genes in the cell that, are you ready for it? Would drive stem cells in the brain to make it become a brand new brain cell. In other words, I could regenerate new brain cells by initiating the Sigma-1 receptor with specific neurosteroids. And in fact, I learned that different neurosteroids make different types of brain cells. We now know that DHA specifically will turn brain cells into memory cells in the hippocampus. The hippocampus looks like a ram's horn that projects from the midline and wraps around the temporal lobe. The big brain cortex sits on top and the cortex and hippocampus are always chatting back and forth, recalling stuff from storage, processing it, sending it through the rest of the brain. The hippocampus is one of the unique regions in the brain where neurogenesis continues even in adult life. And we know that neurons produced integrate into the main neural network and that they are functional. Now what happens if you don't get enough DHEA? The stress hormone cortisol that I mentioned earlier is also released from the adrenal gland and if it's not balanced by DHEA, can actually be detrimental to the brain. And while cortisol levels do not decline with age, DHEA levels do, they fall by about 2% per year, or about 90% over your lifetime. So it was thought then that if DHEA were supplemented, bringing it up to youthful levels, we could prevent some of the aspects of aging. Cortisol, on the other hand, shrinks the hippocampus. It would follow then that restoration of DHEA levels should counter the effects of the stress. Because the hippocampus connects to emotion areas in the amygdala and forebrain and septum, DHEA can also improve depression through its effect in the hippocampus. Stress, depression, and anxiety can be debilitating emotions in Alzheimer's and DHEA can help. Finally, we're talking about Alzheimer's. We can't talk about learning and memory without the elephant in the room. There are lots of theories about causes of Alzheimer's, beta amyloid, tau protein, and these theories have been the focus of drug development. Unfortunately, those have not resulted in dramatic therapies. It's clear that in Alzheimer's, the brain shrinks, especially in the region of the hippocampus. And there are a few things in life more emotionally crushing than your own spouse or parent forgetting who you are, and to watch their fear and anxiety when they don't know where they are. So it stands to reason that if the hippocampus is the region of the brain that's responsible for learning and storing memories, that DHEA could be a beneficial element. So from a neuroscientist perspective, this disease must be multifactorial and no monotherapy drug will either treat or prevent the atrophy or shrinkage of the hippocampus. A combination of neurochemistry is essential to make new cells. My protocol is a multifactorial approach. Each element of this protocol is known to address specific aspects of the degenerative processes and work synergistically with the other elements to protect and restore brain cells and function. There you have it. Now you know that the ability to regenerate your brain is possible. It requires the right set of chemistries. 
in just the right amounts for this to occur. I'll leave it up to you to extrapolate the ramifications of these scientific findings. And until next time, blessings to you. Down by the wall.